So, hi, Victoria. Lovely to see you. <laughs> hi, Joe. Nice to see you again. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. So today, what we are going to try to do within the 30 minutes is to predominantly have some fun okay and learn as much as we can regarding vocabulary adjectives play some games um, and then if we've got time look at some phrasal verbs okay but i will explain as we go along and of course if there's anything that you do not understand just ask okay <laughs> okay <laughs> fantastic great okay so the first little game that I think would be really good to play um, is a little game called Taboo, okay? And what you have to do is think of a word, any word, okay? And you're not allowed to say that word to me, okay? So, for example, um, it could be the word television. That's what you've got in your head. OK, television. And you have to describe it. I have to try and guess what that word is. OK, without you saying the word. OK, so I can ask you questions like, for example, is it a living thing? And you could say, no. <laughs> I could say, does it belong in the home? Or do you have it in the office? OK, so let's just try. I know we haven't played this before, but let's have a go. OK, so I would like you to think of a word. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Done. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. I'm going to ask you some questions. Okay. Right. Okay, Victoria, is your word a living thing or is it mm -hmm. an object? It is an object. It's an object. Fantastic. Is it in the home? Mm, yes. Do you have it at home? Okay, cool. And what colour is it normally? Uh, it could be different colours. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, it could be. Okay, so it can be any colour. Any colour. Fantastic. Okay. And is it a big object or medium sized or small? Medium size. <laughs> medium size. Okay. Right. And what, without saying the word, what is its use? What is it used for? Um, you can learn things. Um, you can learn information from uh, it. Uh, you can uh, find uh, texts in it. Um, you can read it. <laughs> Okay, okay. <clears throat> um, I'm not very good at this game, but <laughs> I will try to guess. Right, okay. Is it um, a computer? No. <laughs> I told you I wasn't very good. Um, is it um, a mobile phone? No. Oh my goodness. Um, is it an iPad? No, but you can um, hold it in your hands too. <laughs> right. So I can hold it in my hands. I can gain information. I can learn. But it's not a computer. It's not a laptop. No. It's not a mobile phone. No. It is not. It's not a gadget. 
Right. Great word. Brilliant piece of vocabulary there. It's not a gadget. OK, is it a book? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Well done. Brilliant. OK, I'm going to think of a word you're going to guess. Right. Okay. OK, I've got my word. You go. Hmm. OK, so is it an object? No. So it is. So is it um, living? Something? Yes. It's alive. Okay. It's alive. OK. Mm. <laughs> is it um animal? Yes, it's an animal. OK. Is it a pet? No. OK, so it's a wild animal. Yeah, it lives in the wild. Um, well, uh, is it, does it live in Africa? Yes, it mm. lives in Africa. Uh, <laughs> OK. Um, is it small or large? It's quite it's large. Nice. It's quite large. Quite large. Um, does it have a fur? Yes. OK. Um, is it a cat? Big cat? Yes. OK, <laughs> so I'm going to try um, guess a word. Um, is it a lion? You are so clever. Yes, it's a lion. Well done. <laughs> Great. <laughs> well done. Good use of vocabulary and good questioning. So well done. Excellent. Right. OK, so we're going to quickly play Stop the Bus. Stop the Bus is something that you may have played before. Um, sometimes it's known as categories, OK? And this is great, again, for vocabulary. Gets you thinking, OK? And what we're going to do is I am going to choose a letter, OK? And that letter, OK, is... Um, a, a, it's the beginning of every word within the category. So, for example, if I choose the letter B, you've got to think of a famous person whose name begins or there is a letter B within their name. OK, so either the beginning of their first name or the beginning of their second name. OK, um, an item of food beginning with B. OK, a famous place, a country beginning with the letter B. OK, that's just an example. So it would be Beyonce, famous person, um, item of food, banana, because it begins with B. OK, so yes. this is my letter for you. And you've only got a very short amount of time. So it's really, really quick. So you've got to think quickly. And the letter is T. C? T. I'll write it in e. for you. So T, 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 T. OK. And the clock starts now. So a famous person beginning with T. Oh, Tom Hilfiger. Um, Perfect. Uh, Tom Cruise. Um, yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> so let's switch to an item of food beginning with tea. Um, tea. Tea. <laughs> <laughs> <Is that food? laughs> um, well done, brilliant. OK, a place beginning with T. Um, <laughs> uh, 
um, Tobago, um, an island. <laughs> Trinidad, Tobago, absolutely brilliant. Well done. And a girl's name or a boy's name beginning with T? Boy's name? Um, yeah. Tom, um, Tim. <laughs> Brilliant. How about a girl's name? A girl's name beginning with T. Girl's name, um, Tina. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Well done. You did it. You did it. So it's very interesting when you are put on the spot, when you have to think very, very quickly you have to think fast you know? and all so, the words go go away from my head <laughs> it's brilliant well done you did great you did great okay <laughs> moving on swiftly moving quickly on okay okay phrasal verbs phrasal verbs victoria do you know anything about phrasal verbs have you studied phrasal verbs before do you know what a phrasal verb is mm, yes it's a combination of verb of words uh, where mm, mm, two words which uh, are used always together and not always together but uh, it's uh, in a combination, it makes, yeah. I don't know how to explain. I think, I think that's, that's a really, really um, interesting uh, way of describing and how you would um, basically understand what a phrasal verb is. You're right, it is a combination of word, words, words, verbs, words. Yeah. <laughs> And the prepositions, it's even difficult for me to get that correct. <laughs> um, phrasal verbs can be used to increase and support fluency, particularly in an informal way, okay? Um, and basically, there are hundreds of phrasal verbs. I'm not expecting you or anyone to learn phrasal verbs and all of them it would just be ridiculous <laughs> you probably find that you're using them anyway okay that you're already introducing them into your into your speech okay into your informal language when you're because you're learning and your english is is very very good so basically today I thought it would be a good idea to look at a worksheet, okay? Mm -hmm. And these are phrasal verbs based on the verb get, okay? So get, okay. okay. And I've sent you the worksheet, <clears throat> yeah? Yes, one moment, I'll open it. No problem. I'll open it. Um... Phrasal verbs with get. Perfect. Perfect. So I think the first thing that I would like you to do, and this is obviously great for your pronunciation skills, mm -hmm. along with, of course, if there's anything there that you don't that you don't understand, any words that you don't understand, just ask and I'll explain. So Starting at the top where it says get across, okay? Yes. I want you mm -hmm. to read what that means, okay? So a cause to be understood. So to get something across, it means that you want to be understood, okay? So if you've got an idea and you want to get that idea across, OK, you want to be understood. You'd say, I want to get this idea across. I want to get it across. OK, and that's obviously the phrasal verb. So starting there, we're going to work clockwise 
round the list okay and I just want you to read it to me okay so okay brilliant so um the next will be get along um have a friendly relationship perfect um so you get along with somebody yes yeah. amazing well done great okay um get away um have a holiday or escape so you leave uh the room for example right yeah you can leave the room you can get away go on vacation yeah so get okay. away perfect um so next um get by uh, managed to survive in spite of difficulties um mm -hmm. yeah so if you're getting by or you you're just getting by or you want to get by you might be having problems you might be having as it says difficulties so someone might say to you victoria how are you and you will say well i'm i'm getting by you know so that okay. would indicate to me that would tell me that maybe you're having a few problems but you're doing mm -hmm. okay okay <laughs> okay by the Go way ahead pronunciation of these words are it's fantastic well done well done <laughs> thank you no problem okay next one um, yes uh get down or get down to good okay. um dismount or descend uh and get serious about topic um get serious about topic i understand but dismount or okay. descend right let's just say you were on a horse <laughs> okay. if you were sitting if you were sitting on a horse and you wanted to get down oh okay it means that you're getting off the horse you're you're descending you're dismounting so you're you're coming down from the horse's back down onto the ground so you okay. want to get down yeah Okay, now I understand. <laughs> Good. Um, next, um, get in, go inside a car, room, home, or arrive at a place. Perfect. Okay, so to get in to a car, yeah, to get in to a venue, a room, a club, yeah. So mm -hmm. that's so get in it's quite obvious that okay um next uh get off uh leave leave a bus train plane or a place uh, okay. yeah and get off a bus <laughs> yeah absolutely to get off a bus to get off a plane means to leave yeah <laughs> mm, get on uh start doing or continue doing an activity perfect yeah okay. so you're getting on with it yeah you're getting on with the task i want to get on with what i'm doing yeah mm -hmm. good perfect. um get out uh become known uh, about news or information but um I thought get out is something about leave. No? Do you know that's that's a very, very interesting point um, because to get out, yeah, it would mean to exit, mm -hmm. you know, to leave, to to move, to to um you wanna go, to get out. Mm -hmm. I want to get out of this place. Um, yes. But I also think that it can be used to extract information. So to get out something, yeah? Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. it's, um, it's an interesting phrasal verb. It's an interesting phrase. But yeah, that's a very, very strong point. I would use it as in 
to extract information. So to get out something okay. from something. Yeah. It's a little tricky to explain, but yeah, that's fine. I would also I would also use it to say I need to get out, meaning I need to leave. Okay, so it's uh, um, it can be used in both uh, situations. Absolutely, yeah, it's dimensional. Got two okay. dimensions, maybe three, maybe more dimensions, but yes, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Okay. Um, so next, um, get over, um, recover from an illness, or um, overcome a problem. Okay. Really. Yeah, brilliant. So if I was to say to you, how are you feeling? You could say, well, I've I'm getting over, you know, I'm getting over my cold, you know, um, to get over something means you're recovering. Yeah, you're on the mend. You're getting better. Get over. Mm -hmm. OK. <laughs> Okay. Um, yes, um, get through, uh, succeed in finishing a task. Perfect. Brilliant. So you're getting through it. You know, you're managing and you're succeeding in completing, finishing the job. Yeah. So you're getting through it. Yeah. Okay. So it's... Uh... Mm -hmm. Uh, a few steps to the finish. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> nice explanation. Well done. Well done. OK. And the last one. Um, get up. It's uh, it's easy. <laughs> get out yeah. of bed or yeah. uh, rise to your feet. Absolutely. So, for example, if you were in bed and I said to you, Victoria, get up. That means you've got to get out of bed quickly. <laughs> yeah. Get up. Yes. Why are you in bed? You should be up. Get up. So, yeah, <laughs> that's a, a, a good um, explanation for that. So, basically, okay, we use these phrasal verbs to support our language, okay, um, very informally, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, sometimes we use these without even knowing. Sometimes we think about them specifically. OK, they can aid our fluency. Yeah, they can help us. They can be quite useful. Yeah. And also as well, if you use phrasal verbs within your speech, um, it sounds impressive, yeah. Oh. Um, English speakers, native English speakers, use phrasal verbs all the time without even focusing on the fact. <laughs> and if you want to impress, using phrasal verbs to explain something um to communicate something is is always good okay it's always good so we won't have time today to complete the rest of this worksheet but you know you can do it at home by using get whether it be get along, get away, get off, get on okay. within the, the task, the, the questions, um, or we can continue um, during next lesson. OK, so okay. any that. questions? Have you got any questions for me? <sighs> well, for now, <laughs> I think no. OK, so at the moment, no questions. Just uh, yes, at the moment, I think 
it's clear. <laughs> but when I will, when I start um, doing exercise, I think it will be a few. <laughs> no, you'll be fine. You'll be absolutely fine. And anything that you that you don't understand, um, or you are maybe a little confused about. Don't worry, we can discuss it next lesson and hopefully make it a little clearer, you know. But I think you're going to be fine with this. I don't think you're going to have a problem. Just to say as well, um, your use of language, your vocabulary, your sentence formation, your pronunciation was absolutely fantastic today. So well done. <laughs> Thank you. Very welcome.